the Bucky Butler's behind bars, I'd better get to Chan's limo company to take his place. Hi guys, this is Defawfalizer here. Welcome back to another episode of LEGO City Undercover. In the last episode, we, uh, we arrested Bucky Butler for trying to join Chan's gang, even though that's not really a crime, but, you know, he stole a painting, so we still had a reason to arrest him. And in this episode, we are going to the job interview to replace him there so we can join Chan's gang. Yeah, we're real hypocrites, aren't we? Go, come, oh, uh, no, I'm not singing that. Yeah. And in case you couldn't tell by me starting off by the police station, that was the last episode of that record... The last episode of that recording session. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, here's the hospital where Natalia is. I'm not gonna go in and harass her because she's not there. Oh, and you know, harassing people is wrong, especially when you're a police officer. Yeah, I guess I probably should have seen that coming. Yes, I did! So, here we are. Almost a chance limo company now. Okay, and here we are. You're the new boy? Yes, sir. Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. Uh, well, then maybe you should get some glasses, old man. <laughs> That's more like it. Okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car. Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you. And Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem. Because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go pick him up at Blackwell Tower. And be polite. He's our only customer. You have one customer? No wonder Chan turned to a life of crime. This business has one customer. So anyway, gotta go pick up Mr. Blackwell. Alright, so we're going to pick up Forrest Blackwell. This music's awesome. Here's a, another place that you can get, another super rail that you can use to build a vehicle call in point. But I don't need that because I can steal cars right off the street. You gonna get in trouble for that? No, I'm not. Name's Chase, Chase McCain. I think I saw a sign for Lego back there, but. Dang it, this vehicle doesn't have any boost! Seriously, Chan, this is your only car. You might as well have a boost on it. Well, your only business car, that is. Oh, by the way, the guy we saw was, like, was not Chan. It was, I forget if it was his father or his grandfather. It's some relative of his. It wasn't Chan himself. We haven't met the Chan man yet. Court, which is where Blackwell lives. Get it? Because he's the king of Lego City. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, the limo's almost destroyed! <laughs> this is too funny. Still thinking about the scandal. Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it 
sure you prefer cats to dogs. Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. One more question, sir. Where are you going? Vehicle is magically repaired. Very kind of you to ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the perpetual inbox at the Gillespie Theatre. I trust you have been told of my aversion to the paparazzi. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat chavisant of orthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. Oh, do not worry on my account. I have ridden atop ships of the desert. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. Are you a patrol of the arts yourself, young man? Well, I like that TV show with the monkey who solves crimes. Ah, a true connoisseur. So, uh, may I ask what the play you're seeing is about? Authority. Regulation, bureaucracy, the usual concerns of petty individuals. Sounds like my old job. Ah, to have your plans thwarted by fools. But what can you do? You either ignore it and get on with your life. Or you go mad. <laughs> yes. Mad. Or you could sneak behind their backs and get your own way without them knowing. The third option. Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. You enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. I suspect it'll be the last chance I get to see one in quite some time. I have rather a long trip coming up. No, the thing about... So yeah, all this secretivity with like Forrest Blackwell and his aversion to the paparazzi, and you know how he doesn't let anyone in his tower anymore? In his tower anymore? How the heck did Dunby get his cameras into there? Seriously, he couldn't even get into Albatross Prison, which is his job. Well, yeah, he infiltrates Forrest Blackwell's my house. Journey, driver. There's no need to wait. I shall be getting home by other means. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. What a nice man. Here's the dark alleyway, which is totally a safe place to go when you're in a city. Perfect. I'm here about a promotion. You? You look like a cop. Well, I'm not. See? <laughs> Greetings, driver. You want to make some... Stop that! I will fire you, prancing fools! <laughs> What do you got in mind? Getaway driving? 
Not so fast. Careful driving. No! First, you have to prove yourself. Here is a list of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chan. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here? So Chan wants me to recover a car from his rival while they're having a shindig. I guess that makes me a party pooper. Huh. I don't think I've ever pooped a party before. Huh. Well, there's first time for everything, Chase. So let's see. So we're heading off to Paradise Sands to go to ruin a party. I don't think he's ever mentioned who Chan's rival is anyway. I guess it's some crime group that runs Paradise Sands. Pretty much Chan run Pretty much Chan runs Pagoda. So this other guy runs Paradise Sands, and then there's And there's another guy who's going to be important later in the game who runs Fre I think it's Fresno or is it Fresco, I forget. No, I think it's Fresno. Okay. Now that I killed him. I'm going to go through here, under the mountain. Going under the mountain! Getting into car accidents! Crashing! Multiple times! Into cars! It's a crime! Crashing into cars! I'm going to put all the songs I sing in my Let's Plays on iTunes! Then all you guys will buy my stuff and I'll be rich! I brag about how much money I've made in from the ads, but I can't because that's against the law. Or at least I don't think YouTube allows it. Maybe they, they do now, but I know originally they didn't. I might have to censor this part of the video out if the rules change. So, alright. It ain't fair that we have to guard this place. Yeah. You know, we could sneak off to that other party by the hotel pool. Maybe. If they started playing some decent music and serve up some food. So, that's what we need to do. We need to get them some music and some food. Oh, by the way, ATMs. Now that you have the robber costume, you beat the crap out of him! ATM smashed. Another gold brick. Uh -huh. There's meant to be a barbecue here. Well, how do they expect me to serve up burnt food poisoning in a button without a barbecue? You know, you're kind of making me not want to build the barbecue here. Okay, let's smash this. Has anyone seen a barbecue around here? Stop! We are whining! Hey, a barbecue! And it's even clean! I won't have to smother everything in ketchup to disguise the taste this time. Now I just need some stuff to cook on it. Yeah. So let's see. Now, this one actually took me a while on my first playthrough of this game. You have to go, I think, like, rob a food stand or something. Well, no, there's, like, a food stand over here that'll have turkey legs, or a box of them, and you have to carry it over. Walking slow, boop, boop, a doo, walking slow, do, 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 do. Is there that, we go. Uh, chicken? That's perfect. Thirty seconds and these will be ready to eat. Would you like some chicken tartar? I'll pass. I'm pretty sure chicken takes more time than thirty seconds. Do I smell food cooking? I think I do. See ya. Poor guy. He's gonna get salmonella. 
So now I need to, um, oh by the way, what's over here, oh my god, you can, if you were driving, you could like jump over the pool. By the way, this is a pretty cool looking pool. So now, we got a pinata. So anyway. Oh, dude, my music system blew up. That is the last time I play opera on it. Well, that wasn't a good idea to begin with. Why would you want opera at a party? Whoa, you're some kind of electrical whiz. No, I'm just you're going to need another whiz. record before you can spin the decks. And kablamo! <laughs> oh, uh, that wasn't meant to happen. So yeah, unlike the chicken, they actually give you a hint as to where it is. And now I shall bring her back. Shazam of love! A record? Should I have used Shamazakas? That's true. So let's spin these records. All this record scratching. You think that we were playing to Bob? I mean, seriously. This sounds just like you came out of to Blob all this record scratching. And for the record, yeah, I will eventually do a Let's Play of the Blob. It won't be my next one, but I will do a Let's Play of it at some point. And, of course, the Blob 2. You know, the more popular version, the more popular game, its sequel. Hey! Alright! Now crank it up to 11! Alright! Uh-oh. I think the rhythm just got me. Sounded a lot like Chase there. Did they run out of voices for this game or something? Well, anyway, my name is Chase. My name is... Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, I'm jumping over all these people just to get to there. I'm going to jump over you. Because I hate traffic laws. So, yeah, I will... So now, the car is in here. We can easily steal it. So I think we'll do that in the next episode. See you guys then.